welcome back everyone, this is Cast Mirage, welcome back to this Fire Number 3 Houses Silver Snow Root playthrough. Alright, let's begin. So yesterday, um, I left off at the stream where we were doing the foreign land and sky um, uh, side quests. Because I already did that in the Black Eagle playthrough, so I don't really feel like I have to do it now. Which means uh, I already finished that on my own time, and I also finished the Deserter and the Pirate quest. And also, as you can see here, um, we left off here, and I did the uh, the teaching on the 9th, and I went through the entire week, and I'm at the 15th. So, today we're going to do, uh, I already spent all of my activity points to get everybody's motivation up, I did the choir, I did the tournament, I got the Silver Lands, and I also uh, did the Sauna. So we're going to finish today. We have a bunch of support we need to do. We're going to watch all of the support, talk to everyone, and then go to the 16th and teach, and then go to the 22nd, where when I'm going to get everybody's motivation back up again. So basically, that's the plan here. I'm going to do like 10 minutes worth of talking and another 10 minutes worth of uh, support. We will take the Imperial Capital. It is odd to think that I will be invading the very city that I once called home. Ah, that is still a ways off. I will prepare for our journey to Ale. I wonder who the final boss, like... Black, uh, Blue Lion's final boss is, um, uh, no, the Simeon God of Ven uh, Venogard, uh, not Venogard, Edgard. Uh, Golden Deer is Nemesis. Um, Black Eagle is Rhea. I wonder where, is Rhea, like, asleep like me somewhere, or did Edgard capture her? That's the question, and is Edgard going to be the... The final boss of the uh, Silver Snow Root, or are the ones who slithers in the dark going to be the final boss? Even though we're getting reinforcements, we should still be prepared for the worst. Never shirk your training, no matter what. To practice, I'm going to chop something up with my sword. Unless you'd like to train together. Care to spar? Did I already do the uh, gardening? I already did. Okay, cool. I never do get thirsty at the sight of blood. It always makes me feel as if I might faint. I suppose I told you that, though, yes? I have no idea how you cope with it. I hope this war ends soon. I dislike being lightheaded because other people are bleeding everywhere. Though the thought of working hard for it does sound like quite a pain. Clean out the storerooms, tend the flowers, do the washing, dust the library. Sounds like a lot of work. That's my job, you know. You gotta do your job. Like you. You gotta have other stuff you ought to be doing, yeah? Since the past, I have learned much of the language of Fodlin. But speaking the Fodlin language still gives me difficulty. I can understand, read, and write with nearly perfection now. But understanding and speaking are fruits of a different color. That's part of your charm. Gratitude for you, Professor. I hope that I will have fluency one day. No. It seems some of our friends believe that if we get those reinforcements, we'll be set for provisions, too. But I think it's best not to hold our breath on the food front. With the added headcount from the reinforcements, there will be even more mouths to feed. Yeah, that's the same dialogue. I remember that. She says that every time.
Are you the spy? Are you the spy? I will. I'm you. Who's is this? Professor. Oh, Catherine. This should be a support level A. Are you hurt? <laughs> you should be asking about the mission, not about me. I have to ask, Professor. What brought you here? Uh, I have some mission. I was worried about you. Sure. Hmm. So you came to protect me. I'm beginning to understand why your allies love you. These are selfish times. One doesn't expect to encounter selflessness. You're kind. In that respect, I'd say you're much like Lady Rhea. You think Lydia is kind? Of course. It's thanks to her kindness that I'm here today. I was an outlaw in Fargus. She took me in and let me live here. You are an outlaw? Didn't I tell you? I was born into House Karen in Fargus. They used to call me Thunderstrike Cassandra. I was implicated in a plot to kill the king. It was a totally false accusation, of course. I had to flee the kingdom, and the archbishop took me in. Oh, why did you come to the monster? I used to be a student at the academy, so I knew I'd be safe here. Lady Rhea saved me once when I was a student, you know. I don't really remember what happened. I was badly injured in your death. Lady Rhea took care of me. She didn't mind getting dirty. She took my muddied, bloodied body into her arms. Since then, Lady Rhea has been my inspiration. I will always serve her, protect her, love her. For some reason, when I think about Lady Rhea, your face comes to mind. You've become an important presence in my life. I'm glad. I wasn't expecting you to have a positive response. I'm not thrilled about it personally. I am still going to keep my eye on you. Not so I can report to Lady Rhea, though. Just because I want to. All right. ALL, the Valley of Torment, lies on the border of three noble territories. The kingdoms Fraldarius and Galatea families, and the alliances Daphne family. In the Fraldarius lands to the north, the former kingdom army and new duke's army are fighting. House Daphne is a renowned family. Descended directly from the ten elites. They've had close ties to the church for ages. I hear even Judith, who is known for her bravery and valor, is a devout follower of the Seraph's faith. She will lend us her strength. I'm sure of it. I've heard 
people talk about the hero of Daphne. If the stories of her courage are true, no one will be able to stand against us. In different circumstances, I'd have wanted to try crossing swords with her. Right now, we have to focus on getting to those reinforcements. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. Uh, do you wish you could return to those days? It shows us like all those years ago. I gazed up at the same sky with mother and father. It does not feel so long ago at all. Wait, but how would you know, Professor? Yeah, you are useless. Seriously? Thank you. Meeting reinforcements in the Valley of Torment seems an astute decision to me. In that land of oppressive heat, it is unlikely that we will be disturbed. It also means we will need to contend with those harsh conditions ourselves, however. Best ensure we are well prepared. I have something to ask you. Meeting reinforcements in that land, it also means... Alright, so I don't have the item to give to you, but I'm not going to... Go search for them. Territories of the Karen and Galatea houses, former lords of the kingdom. Even though their territory is being nibbled at by the Empire, they are still clinging to their neutrality. Since they only display enough force to defend their borders, I suppose the Empire has no incentive to attack them with any real strength. No. Okay, with the Fargus dukedom in place, the kingdom is essentially no more. The majority of the lords who once belonged to the kingdom are now under the jurisdiction of the Empire. Even the houses that haven't been to me yet, like House Broldarius, will soon be crushed. It's only a matter of time. Maybe. Alright, um, are there any messages for me? What we got? Uh, this is Caspar, one of those mice uh, I always talk about when they go on and about about shivering. Maybe I don't get because I don't care about being a knight. Type of kindness and talent and shivering is about uh, loyalty, strength and courage, I guess? I don't know. Alright, so that's... I, I had a feeling that's what you wanted to hear. Dude, look at how many support I have. Lindhar's really dumb, huh? There is no persuading you when you're angry. Let us resume this conversation another time. If you come back another time, you'll find my position hasn't changed. Lindhar's a, a real idiot, isn't he? Like, hey, if you really believe that nothing is gonna happen to you by 
the fact you using uh, the standard brand, then why would you have a plan, plan to have yourself subdued when you turn into a demonic beast, right? Why, why does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. Fine with it. pronounce the name uh Wait, Crim Crimson I'm just gonna call it that thanks for the raid Crimson and the uh, Devil Waiting. Uh, thank you for joining, uh, for following the channel. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. So you get practice. 
put your best foot forward and try not to put it in your mouth. <laughs> what are you saying? Why are you laughing? Oh, I, uh, I just made a little joke. A joke? Can you give me more explanation? Uh, well, uh, put your best foot forward. That's an expression people say that means try as hard as you can. And putting your foot in your mouth doesn't really mean what it sounds like. <laughs> Is he literally explaining his joke? Now, you were saying something rude without meaning to, and so, ah, what am I going on about? There's nothing worse than trying to explain a joke. Petra, you've gone awfully quiet. I suppose you've lost faith in me as a conversation tutor. You are playing with your words. We do such things in Bridget, too. In Foblin, you have a strange way of playing with a word's meaning. Are you admiring of it? You admire me? Oh, Petra, no need to say kind things out of pity. You didn't hurt my feelings. Am I hurting them? If you were sincerely complimenting me, then no. <laughs> to think, you just started learning how to chit-chat, and you've already got a silver tongue. You really put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> More laughing. This must be a complex technique for word playing. Okay. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> Save the rest for later. Do this first. Can you help me? 